What's going on everybody? Welcome to Charge It Up. For today's video, let's talk about the vehicle settings on the Model X. Let's go. All right guys, let's get right into this here. Hit that vehicle option button, the little card tab icon. Go down to vehicle options and the very first thing that comes up is the Falcon Wing door height. I have it on auto. Other, unless I'm taking pictures because I put it in low because I do love the way it looks in low. But auto actually opens it up all the way and gets it away from my head. I'm about six feet. Auto goes all the way up and it's out of my way. And I, I walk right underneath it. Don't have to worry about it. Next option underneath is the automatic doors. Obviously, I love having the automatic doors feature on. I love being able to walk up to the doors with the key fob and it opens on, on its own. Also, with the automatic doors option on, you can actually open all, all the doors the driver's side door, the passenger side door with the key fob as well. Let's move on to the next option, which is close all with key fob. I've got that on. Why not hit that top button of the key fob and it closes everything that's already open. Let's move on to the next option. Walk away door lock. I've got that, I've got that on, which is awesome. Just walk away from the door and obviously once it senses the key fob away from the vehicle, it locks the car for you. Move on to the next one here is unlock on park. Hit that park key on the selector and it'll open all the doors for you. Right underneath it is the child protection lock. I have not used this before, so um, I'm not sure how that works entirely, but I probably will be using it soon uh, just to play around with it. That's cool. We got the driver door unlock mode. Only unlock the driver door when shifting into park. I mean, I, I usually open all of them anyway because I have to get at them. So I, I leave that off. That's fine. That's just a preference. Move that to the next option at the the bottom of the screen here, car left open notifications. This is actually really useful. Off option, doors only or doors and windows. So if you happen to leave your windows and or doors open, your car will actually tell you through the app on your phone, which is actually really useful. I like that feature. I have it on doors and windows. We've got the lock confirmation sound, like hearing that's locked. So I got that on. We got the mirror auto tilt on. Now this is when you hit the reverse gear. And the mirrors actually tilt downwards so you can actually see the curb or the wheels, whichever, obviously, were how you ever set it up. That's great. And then we get the mirror auto fold option for when you lock your car for it to actually close. Some people here in Canada actually don't use this feature in the wintertime because they have said that it's actually frozen in multiple situations. Here, I don't have an issue for now, at least. I parked in the garage. And the last option on this is the auto wipers which is in beta and I honestly don't like the auto wipers. It doesn't work as it should, to be completely honest. Uh, it's probably one of my dislikes and it'll be, it'll be in the dislikes and likes video when I come up with that coming up in the near future. It just doesn't work as properly as it should. All right, guys, that's it for today's video on the vehicles tab on the touchscreen. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that notification bell for future videos of the Model X. Until the next one, guys.